Huber Heights and Butler Township Police released body camera footage of an officer involved shooting. It shows the moment leading up to the shooting near the Days Inn and O'Charlie's on Miller Lane last Thursday night. Two News reporter Kajasia Hawkins was at the news conference. She brings us new information we've learned about this incident. Kajasia? Brooke and John, the police chiefs of Huber Heights and Butler Township walked us through what happened that night and what led to a Huber Heights officer shooting three shots and hitting a suspect. Nine. 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 That is the 911 call to police from the girlfriend of the man who was later shot by police. That woman explaining to dispatch that her partner has shot at her in a domestic dispute around 10 15 Thursday night. She and several other people who heard those shots called law enforcement and let them know that the suspect, Tavion Booker, had run away, going south on York Commons Boulevard. Police then met Booker in front of the old Charlie's in Days Inn on Miller Lane. Authorities releasing body camera footage of that interaction. Officers demanded that he put his hands up and get to the ground. Booker ignored those requests and instead placed his hands on his waist and grabbed his gun. Officers then shot at Booker three times, hitting him in his torso. Police at the scene administered medical aid and called medics. Booker was taken to the hospital. He is listed as stable. That officer is now on paid administrative leave and officials say multiple investigations are taking place. The first one is investigating that 911 call. There, there's three different investigations going on. The first investigation is a shooting that occurred up at the Days Inn involving Tavion and his girlfriend where uh, she, re she calls in, makes a report that she was uh, being shot at by him and he's discharged a firearm. That case is currently under review at the prosecutor's office. We're awaiting uh, confirmation of any charges that may be uh, filed against him. That's Another of those investigations being conducted by the Ohio BCI to determine if the officer's actions were warranted. The third and final investigation will be internal for Huber Heights PD. Reporting live in Huber Heights, Kajasia Hawkins, 2 News. Hi, right, thank you, Kajasia, and you can watch today's full news conference right now on the 2 News app. Just scan the QR code on your screen with the camera on your smartphone. It'll take you right to the free app.